So the first one I'm going to play is a duet that uh, him and I would play a lot. Uh, it's by a composer named Angelo Corelli. And a uh, little story, when I first showed him the music, uh, seems so funny. The composer's name is Corelli, and Corelli is a really old composer, but a lot of his friends he talked to me about don't know anything about music, so he would talk to his friends and tell them that every time Corelli's new stuff came out, he'd go buy it. <laughs> but, so, yeah, funny seems uh, and I still have to set Andrew's sound levels, but I want to let everybody know in the back, the way this room is set up, we have an easier time hearing you talking at the bar than everybody down here has listening to people on the stage. So if you're going to be back there talking, which I'm sure, you know, I will be too, but let, we just have to keep it down so that the people can hear what's going on on the stage. So Andrew, let me, uh, you, if you would just do whatever you need to do and I'll set your sound level. Can somebody back there tell me when we're loud enough? This next one, my brother actually uh, printed off um, the internet for me and he just told me that I should learn how to play it. So I took it to Seep and I showed it to Seep and the first thing Seep said to me was, why would you want to learn this? Because 
this really advanced music and um, it was more advanced than anything I'd ever played before, but Steve said he'd work on, uh, work on it with me, so uh, he's been working on it with me for a little bit, and uh, one of the funny things he said about it is uh, he was just talking to me and my parents about it, and he said, man, if you, if you wake up in the morning and you play this piece in the morning, you're going to be mad all day. <laughs> best I can on it for the variations that I know. Uh, here I go. with the junior Phil because of Seep. Seep lingers on. Seep lingers on. Yeah. Absolutely. All right, now I have... Uh,